Terry Box, the auto writer with the Dallas Morning News. I hope I look racy. We're about to drive the 2015 Toyota Camry, which has not only got uh, complete restyling, it's supposedly, emphasized supposedly, more sporty. The midsize sedan segment is not only crowded, it's getting a little stale. And Toyota was, was coming in, coming under a fair amount of sniping, a little criticism about its cars were, the Camry was dull, and it was dull. Uh, it, no imagination. And as you got cars like the Hyundai Sonata coming in, the new Ford Fusion, the Mazda 6, Toyota had to do something. It's still the leader in this segment, but it's losing market here. They changed every piece of sheet metal on the car except the roof. It's now rounded. It's got. A, it, it looks a lot more like other cars in the, in the segment, for better or worse. I think it's an improvement. They firmed up the suspension. It's got slightly stiffer springs in this particular model, the XLE. It has slightly stiffer bushing, so that you get a, a firmer, a, a more sporting ride. And the car does feel a, a little more responsive. Where Toyota, I think, still needs to step up. This car has got 3.5 liter V6 with 268 horsepower. It has had a 3.5 liter V6 the 268 horsepower since my hair was dark. So it's time for Toyota to really give some thought to upgrading the power. This car still has all of Toyota's strengths. It's well assembled, it's solid, it has great resale value, it's got fine room in the back seat, it'll carry the whole family, it gets great safety rating. 21 miles per gallon on the town, 31 on the highway. It's a typical Toyota. $36,600 though, it's not cheap. And when you get to that $36,000 level, you got plenty of options. You can go to a crossover, you can go to a Venza, you can go to any number of crossovers. And you can also step up now into a Mercedes CLA, an Audi A3, a BMW, one, the point is, everything in the section is feeling this pressure. And Toyota, as the leader, feels it more than anybody. I think we're at kind of a crossroads in that segment. And if they don't figure out a way to make the cars as appealing, style-wise, as a crossover, and have some of the, the creature comforts of a near luxury car, I think they're going to have a hard time competing and maintaining. But for now, the Camry is still the king.